نحمد و نسلی علی رسول کریم اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب اشرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری و احلل اقدتم من لسانی یفقه قولی و جعل لی وزیغ من اخلی اللہم فکہنا فی الدین آمین سم آمین السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ ٹرانسلیشن آف سورہ البقرہ ورس نمبر سکس انہ انڈیڈ فور شور نو ڈاوٹ اللذینہ دس از ریلیٹیو پروناؤن فور دی ماسکلین پلورل اللذینہ دوز who kafaru kaf fa ra means to disbelieve fail to accept refuse to accept this is a perfect verb and because of the wow and alif in the end it signifies that this is a perfect verb for the third person masculine plural meaning They disbelieve. Sawa'un. It is the same. It is equal. It is just like. Alayhim. Two words joined together. Ala and him. Ala is a preposition meaning upon or to. Him is a pronoun for the third person masculine plural. Them. Sawa'un alayhim means it is the same upon them. It is equal for them. A'anzartahum. A weather. O anzarta. The root word is noon. Zal ra. Means to warn or to scare or to make somebody fear or get afraid of something because of uh, the ta on the end it shows that it is a perfect verb it is a perfect verb for the second person masculine singular meaning you want you want you scare whom them whether you want them Am or this is a conjunction. Lam, this is a negative particle, not hum because of the ta before the nun dal ra. Nun dal ra is the root word, and the ta before the root word shows that it is a it is an imperfect verb. And the ta also signifies that it is for the second person masculine singular. You warn whom? Whom? You warn them. La, not you. Minuna. Hamza, mean noon. To believe, to accept. Because of the ya before the root word, this shows that it is an imperfect verb. And the wow known at the end signifies that it is for a plural. So it is an imperfect verb for the third person masculine plural, meaning they believe. So now repeating the whole verse. In Allazina, for sure or indeed, Allazina, those who kafaru, they disbelieve, sawa'un, it is the same, alayhim. Upon them, a'anvertahum, whether you want them, am, o, lam, not, tunzirhum, you want them, la, yu'minun, they will not believe. Khotama, khotamim means a seal, a stamp, or to close something. This is a perfect verb. For the third person, masculine, singular, meaning he has stamped, 
he has put a seal he has closed who allah khatam allah means allah has set a seal or allah has stamped where ala this is a preposition upon on qulubihim qulub is the plural for qalb and qalb means the soul the heart qulubihim their hearts or their souls wa and ala upon or on sam'ihim seen mim ain means hearing listening upon their listening wa and ala upon or on abswarihim abswar is the plural for ba swab ra meaning sight vision or eyes abswarihim means their vision their sight is what rishavatun ain sheen ya means to cover to to shelter rishavatun means a whale any whale or a whale wa and la for whom them is what azabun is a punishment and what is the punishment like azimun the root word is ain zwa mim in arabic azama is is the word used for the bones and we know that the bones are the heaviest the biggest and the most strongest organs of the body and azim with reference to that means that it is it is an adjective and the adjective is on the die cast of fa'il so it is great azabun azim means a great punishment azab is what it is an indefinite noun and what is the quality and what is the property of that azab has been signified by an indefinite adjective and we see that they are both the azab as well as the adjective explaining the azab they are both masculine singular so azabun azim means a great punishment so now let's repeat the verses and uh, complete all the verses here now Allah says inna allazina kafaru for sure those who disbelieve sawaun it is equal it is the same alayhim upon them anzartahum whether you want them am or lam not tunzir hum you want them la yu'minun they will not believe why will they not believe because the state of affairs is like what hatam allah allah has set a seal or a stamp ala qulubihim upon their hearts wa ala sam'ihim and upon their hearing wa ala absarihim ghashawa and upon their sight or their vision is a veil wa lahum azabun azim and for them is a great punishment sadaqallahu alazim rabbana la tuzigh qulubana ba'da iz hadaytana wa hab lana min ladunka rahma innaka antal wahhab subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu alayk subhana rabbika rabbil izati amma yasifun wa salamun alal mursalin walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin amin sumamin